And tonight, what's the political prognosis for Obamacare after the November elections? The question many conservatives, Tea Party activists, Republicans, and even some Democrats are asking is this. If they take the House in November, will Republicans immediately push for an all-out repeal of Obamacare? Joining us now from Richmond, Virginia, is Republican Congressman Eric Cantor. All right, Republican Congressman Eric Cantor, you've now got to correct the record because Politico is reporting that Eric Cantor, if he's the House Majority Leader come, uh, come November, that you're going to push for a more modest approach to Obamacare, meaning defund it, not repeal it. Did Politico get it wrong? Laura, I'll, t I'll tell you one thing. As uh, you and I have known each other for several years, and as many of my constituents are, I'm a big fan of yours. So I got several calls from constituents over the last day or so saying, what's Laura Ingram talking about, that Eric Cantor is not for a repeal of Obamacare? Of course I'm for a repeal of Obamacare. As you know, Laura, I'm the Republican whip in the House, and the duty of the Republican whip was to marshal as many votes as we could against Obamacare to make sure it didn't become law. And in the end, we didn't have one Republican vote that voted for it. Unfortunately, the bill passed. So we're, we are faced with a situation where hopefully this November uh, a conservative majority will regain a uh, position in the House and we're going to do everything we can to repeal the bill, to delay the bill, to defund the bill, to do all of the above. I mean these things go pledge, hand in hand, Laura. Will you we, pledge, Congressman, if you are House Majority Leader, to see to it that a bill is brought to the floor of the House of Representatives to immediately repeal Obamacare? Will you pledge to do that tonight? Listen, w w without measuring any drapes about what position I will be or won't be, yeah, if I'm in a position to make that difference, absolutely I will pledge to do that. Are you kidding? Of course. I mean, listen, the, the, the discussion, I think, in the article that you were reading uh, was about how are we going to have a comprehensive strategy to ensure that a trillion-dollar takeover of our health care in this country does not occur. And it's got to go forward on all fronts full throttle. We've got to make sure, initially, that we are defunding every bit of the uh, regulations but, process but so that the really... I hear what you're saying, Congressman, but... Look, 56% of the country wants it repealed. The latest poll out, Rasmussen, you read it, I read it. 56% immediately want it repealed. Laura, and I know you Laura, say you want it repealed, Laura, but then you, then you say, well, I mean, it's, it's ambitious and Laura, President Obama might veto it. I say, let him veto it. That'll be Laura, great for you. Laura, a absolutely. But listen, let, if... Absolutely. We're going to put a bill on the floor. If I'm in a position to do it, you better believe it. Well, if you're but House Majority Leader, you'll have here. the position to do it. If you're House Majority Leader, you will push forward right. the bill immediately to yes. repeal this. Yes, yes, yes. I don't see how you ever thought I wouldn't be for doing that. Now, come on. Well, because you and here's, I are on one the same side here. here's one reason. Here's one reason. Here's one reason. I just wanted to trust but verify, like Reagan. Dobirai ni provirai in Russian. Uh, I wanted to trust yes, and verify. Yes, but you know what? Because of this, because of this, because of the things, in, some of the things that you've said, and they're not all negative, but some of the comments you've made about the Tea Party movement, it's good as a grassroots movement, which I agree. And then you also said, but not, you know, as a, as a caucus might not be that helpful. And then, you know, your, your, I think your comment, maybe it was last year about Rush Limbaugh wanting the president to fail. And, and people get a little worried that, you know, even Eric what? Cantor can get, what, what? can get caught up in the Washington-itis. That's all. Laura. Laura, you know better than that for me. We've known each other for years. Now, come on. Listen, we got to get a president in the White House who will sign a repeal bill. We're going to put repeal bills on the floor, absolutely. But just to do so for that sake without actually accomplishing repeal is not enough for me. I want to make the case. I want to go and expose the American people how egregious this government takeover of health care is. It will change health care as we know it. People won't be able to afford it. We won't have the quality of care that we expect and deserve in America. We've got a lot of work to do to make that. sure that we Absol stop this thing 100%. from happening. Why are you not for an all-out ban on earmarks then? Uh, listen, I don't earmark, okay? And so Republicans are not about earmarking, right? I mean, we, have, we are the ones that went, and I worked for five years uh, to make sure, and John Boehner and I were able this year to make it so that our conference supported uh, a moratorium on earmarks. And so what I will say is if these earmarks come back, they will not be earmarks that will include monuments to me and teapot museums. And frankly, we'll have be no good tolerance earmarks. for corruption. They'll be good L earmarks. Listen, there, there will, if these earmarks come back, 
there will have to be a demonstration to the American people that their taxpayer dollars are being spent prudently uh, mm -hmm. in a way with a federal purpose. Listen, again, I say I don't earmark. Uh, and Republicans are not well, about make, yeah. not about making the case are, for earmarks. Are you going to sign on to uh, Ryan's roadmap for the future going forward? Because I think that's a great slate of ideas, and I don't think you've signed it yet, have you? Listen, I am working very closely with Paul Ryan uh, to make sure that we put in place um, a way for us to balance the budget, a way for us to get to the point where these entitlement programs that we've got don't bankrupt mm -hmm. this country, at the same time that we can honor the commitments to America's seniors. And I think Paul will tell you that. All right. Uh, well. And so we've got to have a serious conversation, Laura, and it's time for conservatives to come together so that we We're can hold win your feet in November to the fire, and just to like begin we to hold take the other this country side's back. Feet to the fire. We can't go back to the old Republican ways. We have to have the new conservative well, absolutely, Republican Laura. But not, it's not about happened, all of us. Uh, it's about all of us coming together. Absolutely, I appreciate it, Congressman. Thank I, you very and much. And I'm the first. And I'm the first one, Laura, that will we'll say that we have learned our lessons uh, from I those years. I hope so. I hope so. And